that's not the sort of ship that you really want to. This is a very big ship. That lake on there, and I've got a suspicion he's going to be a pirate. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. I'm not hanging around. There's no cargo here for me. And I'm not taking on a big ship like that. Ah, 8-bit eight, eight bird. Yeah, if you've just come in, I'm voice control is not built into Elite. Um, although I think yeah, just some talk that it's seems like that but no, you know. A bit of a, possibly a dream of the developers. I'm using a program called Voice Attack. It's eight dollars. And it's it's cool. Cruise mode. Super Time cruise time. mode selected. I can tell it to I can map it to keyboard commands, play music respond to me with text to speech, all sorts of things. The joystick I'm using is a Cytec X52 Pro. Um, I wanted the X55 but they were sold out everywhere in Australia when I went looking for them. So. Let's try that other. Actually, no, let's just go to one of these um, Asteroid belts. This will look pretty. Oh, someone wants me out of space. Come on. About to get more pirates. Yeah. <laughs> I will end you. Yeah. Cruise mode. Super cruise mode selected. As you can see, these pirates. This is a anarchy system. Uh, you've got to be on your toes here. I'm not sure when they're expecting to release the finished game of Elite. Um, Certainly not as far away as Star Citizen. Alright, I don't know what was going on there. I think there was good guys and bad guys, but I wasn't hanging around to find out. If anyone has a bit more information on when the release date is due, feel free to pop in and and um, answer Flax's question. It's my chat screen's off to the left, as you might notice me looking over there. Um, sometimes it's not the easiest for me to to concentrate on the game and, and see what you guys are talking about. All right, look at those asteroids. That is just gorgeous. All right, slowing it right down. Exit cruise mode. Exit cruise mode. And that's why I had my engines had to stop. <laughs> when you come out of cruise mode, that jump displaces you a bit. Hyper jump. No, I do not want to. Let's have a look, see what's around. And I'm just. Uh, it's very quiet in the ship here at the moment. Let's, let's make it a little bit quieter. Let's power down the drives. You see my heat generator is dropping. Don't need a cargo hatch. Don't need that. So, heat is dropping right down. And uh, I won't be invisible. 
when I'm getting there. Of course, my drive stuff won't be going anywhere either, but I can. There we go, I'm starting to ice up now. Now I can start looking at these contacts. This guy. That's a player. You can tell that by his outline, the hollow outline on the radar. I'm very cold, so he's very unlikely to be able to see me. But if I can get myself swung around without much in the way of engine power, might be able to get a bit of info on him. Yeah, I've lost him anyway. Where, where is he? Here he is. So he's clean. So if I took him out, I'd be in trouble. In fact, he's getting attacked by someone. So I could actually help him out here. Yeah, the glass frosts up when you when you start to get cold. It's a good indication of uh, how detectable you are. I think it's a good visual indication. So. shoot down some poor guy with a clean record, I'd, uh, I'd end up um, with a record myself and being wanted, so just got to keep an eye on that. Now here we go, this guy's a, this guy's a known, known pirate. someone else might get a bit weakened first or just fly in there and have a go.
wasn't much of a wasn't much of a bounty there. Has he got alloys? Alloys are not worth much. I'm not even going to bother picking them up. Ah, uh, thanks for thanks for hanging around, Guard Mooney. And um, yeah, thanks. It's always good to have, to have people to uh, show the game to. reason I don't have the multi-cannon um, as a secondary fire is because I just... I just want to shoot one thing. <laughs> I don't want to have to think about it, even though I know the multi-cannon is better at after they punch the shields down. Yeah, this guy was just shooting at the fence, so that's why this has got a bounty. And I've run out of ammo, you know, that was a bit silly. And I've also been playing for an hour. Look at this, look at this though, isn't that awesome? <laughs> sunrise. Sunrise over an asteroid belt. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's just, that's so awesome. And there's the planet. Oh, that is just sexy ass. Hey, P Bond, uh, welcome to the, pretty much probably the end of my gaming session tonight. But um, I'm going to head back to base and get some more ammo before I, before I head off. Um, I don't don't ask me about the dollars and cents of this. I was a Kickstarter backer, so I just had a little bit of extra to put in to get into the uh, premium beta rather than the regular beta. I'm just admiring this view right now. This is just so cool. This is just awesome. This is the sort of stuff they should have in their E3 video. Do I recommend Track IR and Voice Attack? I definitely recommend Voice Attack. It's eight bucks. You can't go wrong. You can use it with everything. You can use it just to launch programs on your computer if you want. Um, that's that's the easiest eight bucks I'll ever spend. Yeah, Track IR. I like it. It gives me a huge feeling of immersion. Um, Look at this, I'm, I mean I'm looking out the side of my, my cockpit as I as I fly along here. Uh, you can't beat that. But that said, you can you know, map head look um, to, to your hat stick on your joystick or use you know stuff like that, so it's not doing something that can't be done in another way. It just has a really natural feel to it. Yeah. So I guess I'd recommend it, but it's, it's a it's a fair bit more to spend. So that's you know, that's sort of more of an investment. If you're going to be playing a lot of games that can utilise it, then then yes. But if it's just for just for one thing, then then maybe not. Oh, this looks so cool. Yeah, and that's just it. If, you, if you're looking to go to an Oculus Rift, you wouldn't, you know, the track IR is sort of like the poor man's version at the moment. The only thing with an Oculus Rift is you're really going to want to know exactly what your hands are doing at all times, and you want to know your joystick inside out. So the Oculus Rift will work really well with the voice attack. And um, I have, I am considering uh, ponying up for the Oculus Rift, but it's going to be a little way down the track. 
certainly not something I can justify doing right, the, right now. But, wow. This is cool. I think I'll have to take the last few minutes of this um, this video and pop this on a highlights because uh, yeah, doing this sort of cruise through an asteroid field. That's just great fun. One thing that some people have sort of said is, hang on, do you have to look away from the monitor? And um, you can, the track IO is very configurable. You can set up response curves and things like you would a joystick. And so you, you move your head a small percentage and getting a larger movement on the monitor, but it feels fairly natural. Um, so I'm still looking at the screen albeit out of the corner of my eye when I'm doing this um, but it doesn't it doesn't feel wrong right, let's uh, let's set a destination anyway while I'm down here free port pop that destination in side of the planet? Yeah, I think it is. That's a pity. I was hoping to be able to just fly through the asteroid field, but it's a bit further away than that. I'm going to get myself out of here. Uh, I'm going to go down through it. That seems like more fun. <laughs> And punch it. Of course, one day we'll get to the rings around Saturn and we'll discover they look nothing like this. But now they can now. Wouldn't want more ice though. Sorry, Pete Bond 21. I, I can't see your second line, your last line chat there. I've, I had a pop up just popped up in the middle of my of that screen and it's blocking it. If someone wanted to hit enter about four times, I'd be able to read it. Let's see if I'm out of that asteroid field enough to get into cruise mode. Cruise mode. Super cruise mode selected. Ah, oh, what did I put? Oh, I got my guns out. Okay. Cruise mode. Super cruise mode selected. Folks, I, I made a commitment that this was only going to be a bit of a short session tonight. Um, for some reason I managed to be late for work today. I think I was up too late playing Elite last night. So tonight I am going to cut it a bit shorter. Um, I'm going to take this back to a final docking run at Freeport load up with ammo and uh, then call it a night. If you want to... S Hopefully I um, won't make a fool of myself in the docking. Yeah, everyone, yeah, I'm sort of, I think I just, you know, spoiled myself with some toys. 
Exit cruise mode. Returning to normal space, Commander. Okay. Now, most of the uh, voice clients you've heard me saying so far have been pretty much just one key press and uh, text-to-speech recognition. Here I can say, station approach. Landing gear down and ready for station approach, Commander. So, that was one that was played a bit more of a macro. That actually changed my power distribution my landing gear down, turn my lights on, basically set me up to to come in safely. There we are, we've got uh, landing pad 19. Oh, someone just hit the wall. <laughs> oh, damn, that's going to hurt. the dock. Oh, that's too bad. To the side, look forward. Here we go. Docking success. And we're down. <laughs> yeah. Nice one, Pasha. So today is actually cost me a little bit of money. I had two really stupid accidents. No, oh, sorry, more. Yeah. One accident, one. Oops, if in a bad situation, it got shot up, but uh, that's alright. I've still got about 80,000, 80 to 90,000 to go before I can buy myself another ship and chock, stock it with weapons and money for trading and so forth. So, there's a bit of work to do. Never do you mind. Uh, people on, yeah, tw question about the stations. Yes, they they, they do get busy, um, but there's plenty of there's plenty of instances at the moment. So yeah, like Guard Mooney is saying, um, it's unusual for you to come in and find the place too busy. I've sometimes had to sit outside for a few minutes waiting for docking permission or retry for docking permission a few times. Um, I've sometimes come in and you know, seen four or five other players, but that's probably been the most I've ever seen. Usually it's one or two other players around the station. And they're really, I think they're really aiming to say that look, there'll be enough instances that you won't, you know, you won't ever be, find a station so busy you just can't get in. You can imagine if 10,000 people all trying to dock at one station in a night. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, everyone, um, like I said, 
this has been my gaming hour for the evening. It's been a bit more than that now. So, I'm going to call it quits for the night. It's been really great having you all along for the ride.